Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and today I'm here to bring you my TBR for the Booktubeathon. This is a week-long readathon that goes from the dates uh, July 24th to the 30th. Now, I know there's also the biannual Bibliath Bibliothon going on at the same time. However, I don't have the best track records when it comes to like readathons. I always say I'm going to participate. I always make TBRs and then I never do it. So I figured well, stick with one. This one has seven challenges. You are in no way required to do any of the challenges if you just want to read for the week. Then that's okay. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing. But I've picked books for each of these challenges. I will leave the links down below to the Twitter as well as um, the YouTube channel that is kind of announcing all of this stuff. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the challenges and the books I've chosen. So book number one is you pick a book with a person on the cover. And the book I've chosen for this is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I picked or I tried to pick at least fairly short books for this readathon because I mean, it's only a week and you're supposed to read a book each day or seven books. So I figured as opposed to picking like a 500 page book, this will be better. Plus I've been told by many people that I need to read this book, specifically my fiance, who's just astounded that I haven't read it yet with all the books I've read. So yeah, I'm just very interested to get into this. I really don't know much about this other than I think it involves an island and boys and the breakdown of society, maybe, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I really like this cover. We will see if I get to it. So challenge number two is to read a hyped book. And the book I've chosen for that is Battle of the Labyrinth by Percy Jackson, that's not right, by Rick Royarden. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson, I say that every time, the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. This is, I think, the second to last one. I think there's one more after this. I love these books. They are really quick reads. They are middle grade. They follow Percy Jackson, who is a demigod, which means he has a human parent, and then one of his parents is a Greek god, and he goes to a camp for demigod children to learn how to harness his powers. It is great. This series is just kind of amped up with each book, but in a way that I really enjoy. The characters are really funny, and I really just want to get through the series, even though I'm enjoying it, because I really want to get to the Heroes of Olympus series, because I've heard that is just fantastic. So yeah, I'm hoping to pick this on up finally. It is a little longer than Lord of the Flies, but I just absolutely fly through these books, and I'm hoping that this one is no exception. So challenge number two is to read a book in a day. So the only kind of books I can really read in a day are manga and graphic novels. There have been very few novel novels that I've been able to to, um, read in a day. Usually I had to put, I have to put it down because if I read for too long, I start to get a headache, all that fun stuff. But thankfully with this readathon, graphic novels, ebooks, audiobooks, normal books, all of this, all of those count. So the book I've chosen for the book I can read in a day is Pretty Deadly by Dekanik and Rios. I only have the last name. I have absolutely no idea what this book is about or this novel, this graphic novel is about. My fiance bought it. Uh, looks like it's a wild wild west like with fantasy elements no idea the cover is really cool so I figured it's short enough that I can pretty easily read this in a day so question number four is to read a book about a character that is completely different than you and honestly any of the books I've chosen so far can really fit that category I mean I'm not a demigod I wish I was one but I'm not so by the end of the biannual bibliothon that's not this one by the end of the booktubeathon I will see which of these I choose for that one, because like I said, it all fits. So challenge number five is to read a book completely outdoors. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really go outside much except to go places. And that's usually to go somewhere to go back inside. I have a back deck, but it's covered in plants. So I don't know, maybe I'll take a chair out there and read The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. I have started this book except for I put it down not the book's fault in this case whatsoever I just I to be honest I tend to listen to music like instrumental music when I read and the Harry Potter soundtrack came on and that's like what sparked me to pick up Got a Lot of Fire and reread the series continue my reread so I put this down in favor of that not a very good excuse but it's what happened it's a fairly short book and i really did enjoy it when i was reading it i definitely want to pick it back up i feel like it's short enough that i can read it outside without much issue so yeah so challenge number six is to read a book you bought com just because of the cover now i bought these specific editions because of the way they look however i like the series 
and I would have bought it anyway. And that is Death Note and the black editions. It's got the black pages and it's the bind up of two novels at a time. So I've already read novels or volumes one and two. So this is three and four. I will be picking up three for these. I fly through this manga series. It is so good. If you don't know what it's about, it is about um, a boy named Light Yagami who discovers a notebook just one day and turns out it is a notebook that belongs to a Shinigami, which is a death god. And Light figures out that he can write down names in this notebook and whoever th whoever his name it is, they die. He can figure out the time of death, how they die. And so basically he decides to become a vigilante and decides to start cleansing the world of people he deems bad. It takes a look at morality, what's good versus evil. It's just so good. If you haven't picked up this series and you like manga, I would recommend it. There's also an anime that as up to this point is pretty close. Adaptation is really good as well. I've already seen the entire anime so I know what happens. But it's just great. And like I said, I fly through these so I knew it was going to be perfect for a readathon. I obviously, like I said, I picked up this book because of the audition and I really enjoy it. So the last challenge is to read seven books and I currently have, I currently have five books chosen because you are, are allowed to put multiple books towards a challenge. So probably what I'll do is either pick up t two more random small books on my shelf or I will read some of those free ebooks I've talked about because they tend to be pretty damn short. So I haven't really like got titles for this one, but it'll probably be random ebooks because like I said, I will read them in between reading regular novels. So yeah, these are the books I have chosen for the Booktubeathon 2017 edition. I really enjoy these challenges. They're fairly simple. And from what I can tell, I haven't done this read along or readathon before, but from what I can tell, it's a pretty chill one. You, Like I said, you don't even have to follow the challenges or read seven books. You can just read as much as you want and what you want during this. But I'm looking at it as an opportunity to get through some of my TBR and to, you know, get that Goodreads goal like a little higher. So yeah, those are the books I've chosen. Let me know in the comments down below if you're doing this readathon and if you are, what is your TBR? If you have a video for it, a blog post or whatever, link me to it because I'm very curious. I want to see them all. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!